I was a kid. No parents, no home. Running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man. Folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. That's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in, around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter, silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So hopefully they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. 
The hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job. I was pissed at Cuddy for a good while after the prison debacle. But hey, you can't blame him for what the Hammers did to him. So I decided to go after that horn Felix talked about. Not like I had a whole lot of choice, really. The rent is due. And my landlord's even tougher than the Hammers. The map's pretty specific about where the entrance is. Too bad it's not as clear about where the horn is. Felix did some scrounging before he left, and his notes say the horn is in the tomb of some nobles. The Quintus family. Guess I'll just have to explore. Felix, always helpful, also said that the catacombs are supposed to be haunted. I think I'll go make some inquiries about where a heretic like me can get some holy water. Always go prepared. some money to spare after disposing of the horn, so it seemed time to invest in some new tools. Farkas is one of the few merchants willing to risk selling to an independent like me and his prices are steep, but the other choice is to let one of the so-called city wardens give me orders and take a cut of my profits. They've been after me for years to join one of their stables, but I'm not interested. Maybe they'll get the idea and give up. More likely, they'll just ramp up the threats. Nothing I can't handle if I'm careful. And lucky. And my luck seems to have finally turned for the better. I was going to pay Lord Randall and his vase collection a visit, but the Downwind Thieves Guild beat me to the score. Word is that they haven't divvied the booty yet. Apparently their leaders, Donald and Reuben, are arguing over the prized sapphire vase. Sounds like they could use a third party to settle their disagreement. Since I'm no mediator, I'll just steal the vase from them. They'll be so busy blaming each other, no one will suspect an outsider. The Downwinders run a gambling den called the Overlord's Fancy, which operates under a nearby restaurant. The guild's hideout is beneath the casino. I have a rough map of the complex I got from sources from the inside. Once I'm in the Overlord's Fancy, I'll have to search for the secret entrance to the hideout. I have to be careful. The Downwinders know me all too well. If they catch sight of me, they'll know who took the vase. Assuming they don't just kill me for trespassing. Finding the vase may prove difficult since I have no idea where it is. Should be a hot topic of conversation among the downwinders. Maybe.
maybe I'll be lucky enough to overhear where they're stashing it. Time to make a living. I was contacted by a woman named Victoria. She claims to represent a client who was impressed by the way I took care of Ramirez and now wants me to steal something for him. The target is a magical sword owned by a nobleman and collector named Constantine. Little is known about Constantine except that he is an eccentric new face in the city and mostly keeps to himself. Victoria says the sword will probably be on display, but it will be well protected by guards and security systems. She also mentioned that the guards are tough and organized, and the mansion is confusing to navigate in. The house was constructed recently, so I've had to piece together my own map from observation and hearsay. Sounds like the place is a bit of a maze. I guess if you're rich enough, you can build any sort of madhouse to live in. This is going to be a challenging job, but it'll pay better than the last few I've taken. As usual, the front entrance is heavily guarded, but I've managed to find another way in. Of course, once I've picked up the sword, I'll still have to worry about getting back out. Garrett, it's Victoria. I trust you made it back alive. You've done well, Garrett. Come with me and bring the sword. There is someone you have to meet. It's time for the payment you've been promised. Yes. A refreshment, Mr. Garrett. I'm in the possession of a superior brandy that has the most restorative effect. I prefer my payment in cash, not liquor, Mr. My apologies. I've been watching you, Mr. Garrett, so closely in fact that I'm afraid I'd forgotten we haven't actually met yet. I am Constantine. All this time I thought you were gonna pay me. You have brought me here to kill me? But you have it all wrong, Mr. Garrett. Would it surprise you to know that it was I who hired you to steal my own sword? Yes. You see, Victoria and I are... Old associates. Yes. You were being tested, do you understand? And I must say, you more than live up to your reputation. You are quite an extraordinary thief. Testing me? What is it you want from me, Constantine? I am a collector, Mr. Garrett. But there are some items that are not available for purchase. They must be acquired using other means. In this case, the item in question would be best acquired by thieving. Not simple thieving, no. I need an artist like yourself. What exactly is this item? It is the gemstone called the Eye for its unusual appearance. Yes. Kept hidden in the sealed cathedral deep inside the halls of the scum Hammerites. Oh, but forgive me. You are, possibly, friendly with the Order of the Hammer. No. Fanatics make unreliable friends. Excellent. I am prepared to offer you quite a sum. A hundred thousand upon receipt of the eye. I don't see how I can refuse such an offer. Marvelous. Victoria can fill you in on all the particulars. And Mr. Garrett... The sword, keep it. You have earned it, but also, I believe you'll find it useful in your quest.
The eye that Constantine wants is in the abandoned cathedral of the Hammerites. The cathedral is located in a section of the city that was deserted years ago, after some kind of catastrophe. I've heard stories of the incident. Most are wild rumors about hordes of zombies and raging fires. Now that part of the city is walled off, and no one's allowed to go in. Not that many people would dare to in the first place. Maps of the area are easy to find in attics and old trunks, but like all of them, the one I've got is over 50 years old. I'll make my way through the ruins to the Hammerite Cathedral, and find a way inside. Once I get inside the cathedral, I'll have to locate the eye. Something tells me that this is not going to be easy, but for the amount I'm getting paid, I'm willing to take some serious risks. is guarded by a foreign mages sect known as the Hand Brotherhood. They reside in a compound of huge towers where they practice their arts of earth, air, fire, and water. The talisman is likely kept in the Earth Tower, but there's little chance it'll be that simple. No doubt the talisman is heavily guarded and probably protected by magic. But mages love to write everything down. I should stumble on something useful about their precious trinket. I bribed some servants to get me a map of the common grounds, best I could do since only the mages are allowed in the towers. I'll enter the courtyard just outside the central keep entrance. Once inside, I'll need to move quickly to find the talisman. I wouldn't last long in a fight against the mages. have hidden the talisman of fire in a place they call the Lost City. Some kind of cataclysm buried the place underground ages ago. The keepers have sealed the access to the city, a cleft in the river bottom near the east side. If the materials in the library are right, the strange stone I found can be used to open that seal. I've also got a map. It's so old the edges crumble in my hands. It shows the city, or at least how it was back then. I hope the old place hasn't changed much. Keepers stash the talisman of water in a series of hidden caverns located deep below the city. According to their map, I'll find it in a shrine located in the lowest cavern. I don't expect to run into anything too threatening other than a few venomous spiders. However, the map does contain this note. Stand not against us, lest you feel the sting of ignorance's barbs. <laughs> Sounds like keeper talk for, we've rigged the place. 
An informative mind, Geary, made a home for himself in these caverns after he lost his job tending the ticket counter of a nearby opera house. He should know these caverns better than anyone, so I'll pay him a visit to see if he has any useful information for me. Getting the talisman of air will be an interesting challenge, but I'll need it if I want to get the eye for Constantine. It's well hidden inside the city's hammer temple, so I'll have to do some scouting around. Problem is, the place is fully active day and night. Not even I could stay undetected for very long. Well, they say that the best place to hide a letter is on the mantelpiece. With that in mind, I'll be going in by the front door dressed as a Hammerite novice. That should be perfect since novices aren't allowed to speak while on the temple grounds. My contacts can get me a novice's pass to get me through the gate. Once inside, I'll be free to take my time, explore the place thoroughly, and find the talisman. As long as I don't do anything violent or get caught somewhere I shouldn't be. Because as the new arrival, I'll be the first person they'll suspect if anything goes wrong. I'll be able to break the wards on the cathedral. It's time for me to retrieve the eye and bring it to Constantine. Last time I was here, the eye was inside, in plain sight on the main altar. I just have to grab it and leave. But that won't necessarily be easy if the place is as haunted as it looked before. So if things get tough, there is another way out. Through the gate in the cloister, behind the cathedral. The sooner this ordeal is over with, the better. When I get paid for this job, I'm gonna retire in style. I can't tell you how pleased I am with you, Mr. Garrett. I simply can't find the words, but perhaps Victoria can help me in that regard. She has such a way with them. Yes, we are both so very pleased. Victoria? Even though the eye is defective. What? Victoria is quite right, Mr. Garrett. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but this eye is completely blind. It's a rock. It's what you asked for. Am I going to get paid or not? Of course. Victoria, are you prepared to give Mr. Garrett his compensation? Bow to the woodsy lord and offer up your flesh eyes so that his eye of stone may see, man fool. Bids ye then the spruces to sing her hymn and anthems, and the woodsy lord binders them fleshes to stone. Did you think those ancient phrases were mere words, man fool? Look at me! 
I am the woodsy lord, the trickster of legend. If you be thirsty, flesh thing, drink of me. If you be hungry, then feed, for I am the honey maker and the jumpsberry. He am the leaf that feeders on the fleshed ones, them that calls themselves builders and wielded up a hammers against him. My poor mystic hag, you will not live to see the sprawling glory of it. Your sacrifice is not yet complete. My lilacs and nine thistle blades must feed and die. Stand ye then in the greens and festive maw, and speed ye of his judgments upon the weeps and writhing manfolds. been a stone rolling downhill. Now you must aim this remarkable momentum. It is past time for the balance to shift. They come. What? Wait! The trickster will not forgive you for doing what he could not. Nor, I trust, will you forgive us. Keepers. Looks like I better get moving, or whatever those things are, we'll waste a perfectly good rescue. things were supposed to go. Constantine has the eye, and my eye, and I doubt he has anything wholesome planned for it. The trickster is real after all. I don't think anyone but those crazy hammers really believed in the old gods. Those crazy hammers. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have a few dozen heavily armed fanatics on my side just about now. If I drop by their temple and explain things, Maybe they'll be so distracted by the trickster's return that they'll forget to hold a grudge. And even if they don't, I know how to get out of Craig's cleft prison already. This is it. The Hammers say they've received word that Constantine's descended into his realm to perform a ritual with the Eye. The Hammers have built me a booby-trapped counterfeit Eye. If I can swap it for the real thing, it should cause him some trouble. If he doesn't notice me. I've never robbed a god before. It'd be a challenge.
So you think you've won? I think I've got my eye back. Yet, still, you are blind. If you hadn't noticed, I just saved the world, yourself included. As we knew you would, as it had to be. Now I remember why I left the Keepers. And I remember why we let you go. What do you want from me? Have you come to congratulate me? Welcome me back to the fold? Very well. I will speak my piece plainly. You have accomplished that which was written, and yes, you've done it well. But there is no place for you with us any longer. Yet you will have a great need of us, and soon. I don't think so. I'm through with heroics. And with your kind as well. You cannot run from life as you did from us, Garrett. Life has a way of finding you, no matter how artistic a sneak you are. Listen, there is a book that you were not made aware of. I am here to tell you that it would be wise for you to read it now, if you can still read hieroglyphs. I do try to forget, but you keepers leave them everywhere for me. Yes, you have more friends than you know. Tell my friends that I don't need their secret book, or their glyph warnings, or their messengers. Tell them I'm through. Tell them it's over. Tell them Garrett is done. I will tell them this. Nothing has changed. All is as it was written. The trickster is dead. Beware the dawn of the Metal Age. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in, around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter, silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. <laughs> <laughs> 